right, we're back with national news. The second state visit of Joe Biden's presidency is in the books after he hosted South Korea's president at the White House last night. The event mixing high stakes diplomacy with a lavish state dinner. NBC's Kristen Welker has those details. Pomp and pageantry at the White House overnight, with President Biden hosting South Korean President Yoon Suk Yul at a star studded state dinner. Dignitaries mingled with celebrities, from Angelina Jolie and her eldest son Maddox to the home improvement gurus Chip and Joanna Gaines and Olympic snowboarder Chloe Kim. The South Korean president even surprising the room by singing this American classic. The day. The music died. <laughs> It's only the second state visit of Mr. Biden's presidency, a show of unity as the two longtime allies unveiled a new plan to counter North Korea's increasingly aggressive nuclear weapons program, including sending a U.S. nuclear ballistic submarine to South Korea for the first time in decades. The president unleashing this stern warning. A nuclear attack by North Korea against the United States or its allies or partisans uh, our partners is unacceptable and will result in the end of whatever regime were to take such an action. But looming large over the diplomacy, questions about the president's decision to run for re-election. Mr. Biden pressed on polls showing a majority of Americans believe the 80-year-old shouldn't run again, in part due to his age. I can't even say, I guess how old I am, I can't even say the number. It doesn't, it doesn't register with me. And when asked if he would be running, if former President Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner, had not entered the race? I think I still would be running if he wasn't. I, I do know him well. And he's not hard to know, as you know. The Republican candidates are making it clear they plan to keep the president's age front and center. If you vote for Joe Biden, you really are counting on a President Harris because the idea that he would make it until 86 years old is not... Um, is not something that I think is likely. And former President Trump out with a new ad painting a dire picture of a second Biden term. This is Joe Biden's America. Failing weak. And once again, that was...